हेलो बच्चो लेट सेट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेट डेट द मेटेरियल फील्ड बिटवीन द प्लेट ऑफ ए पैल प्लेट कैपेसिटर एज इज एस्टिमेटेड टू हंड्रेड ओम मीटर द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इज टू पिको फेरेट इफ अ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ फोर्टी वोल्ट इज अप्लाइड अक्रॉस द प्लेट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर देन द वैल्यू ऑफ लीकेज करेंट फ्लोइंग आउट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इज गिवेन द वैल्यू ऑफ रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी ऑफ मेटेरियल इज फिफ्टी सो we will solve this question first of all we will see what will be the key concept is to solve this question the key concept that will be used to solve this question will be capacitance c is equal to k epsilon not a by t where k is the relative permittivity of material epsilon not is permittivity in free space and a is the area of capacitor plates and d is the distance or length of capacitor plates also current i is equal to v by r this is from ohm's law and resistance r is given by rho l by a now we have been given the resistivity of filled material Rho is equal to 200 ohm meter, and capacitance of capacitor C is equal to 2 picofarad. That is 2 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad, and K that is relative permittivity of material. That is 50. Also potential difference applied across the capacitor. That is 40 volt. So the setup can be. So next, this is a parallel plate capacitor, and the potential difference applied across it is of forty volt. This is forty volt, and here this is D, that is length of the capacitor plates, and A is the area of the capacitor plates. This is D. And here K is equal to fifty. That is relative permittivity of the material which is filled in the capacitor plate. Now R will be equal to rho L by A since L is that is length of the resistance that will be length of capacitor plate D, and A is the surface area of the capacitor plate that will be the length of resistor. Also C is equal to K epsilon not A by D. So we will have. T is equal to k epsilon of k by d, or we will have d by a is equal to k epsilon of by c. Now k is fifty given epsilon of value is eight point eight five into ten to the power minus twelve divided by c is two feet of error that is two into ten to the power minus twelve. So on solving this, we will get the value of d by a is equal to. Two twenty one point two five per meter. This will be the value of D by A. Therefore, resistance R will be equal to rho D by A, which will be equal to rho is given two hundred ohm meter. So two hundred into D by A is two twenty one point two five. So this will be two twenty one point two five, and this will be in ohm. That is equal to Forty-four thousand two hundred fifty ohm. This is the resistance. So the leakage current. So the leakage current that will be equal to V by R. That will be equal to V is forty volt, and this is forty-four thousand two hundred fifty ohm. So on solving this, it will be. Approximately equal to nine into ten to power minus four ampere. That is equal to zero point nine milli ampere. So the leakage current will be equal to zero point nine milli ampere, which is option D. So this will be the correct option. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.